Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is our first break of the uh, Topps Rip Party After Hours. So this is our uh, break, 2021, Top Series 1 Baseball, um, double header break number one. Double header break number one. This is a hobby and a jumbo case, and there'll be some Rip Party giveaways at the end. We'll re-randomize everybody's name at the end. Top two, we'll get some exclusive Rip Party packs. We don't have them right now. They're mailing them to us, but we'll eventually get those sent to you if you are the winners of that. Big thanks to everybody here getting into doubleheader number one. This sold out pretty quickly when we had these for pre-orders. So looks like everyone's hyped for Series 1. Big thanks to all the teams right here for existing. And let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a one. Three times for each list. Names first. One, two, and three. Easy. We got Derek down to Kevin. All right. Two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and third and final time. Then we got the Rangers down to the Rays. All right, so Derek with the Rangers, Ben with the Angels, Kyle with the Giants, Arthur King with the Mariners, Coppola with the Rockies, Matt Arnold with the O's, uh, Ross with the Yankees, Anthony with the Marlins, Bill with the Padres, Derek with the Royals, Narek with the Cubs, Nick Stober with the Cards, Richard with the Blue Jays, Matthew with the Mets, Jason with the Reds, Jeffrey with the Nats, Ross with the Diamondbacks, Michael with the Brew Crew, David with the Indians, Allen with the Strohs, Jorge with the Twins, Steven with the Braves, Ryan with the Pirates, Mark with the Tigers, Nick Stober, you got my Dodgers, Coppola with the Phils, uh, Alex with the A's, Derek with the White Sox, Narek with the Red Sox, and Kevin with the Tampa Bay Rays. Let's get this all on one screen. Let's bring this window down just a tiny bit. Let's sort by column B by team. And let's box these up right here. Trades are allowed if you want. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. So the trade window is closed. So let me close up the trade window, TWC. And you can see the box right above my head right there. This is a double header, so we're going to start with the hobby box, or the hobby case first. And then we'll do the jumbo case right behind that. j Dog, what's up? How many cards are in each case, Jade? Uh, Narek's asking. A lot. I did the math this morning. A lot. A lot to a whole lot. Yeah. Here, you can count, Narek, while, while we're ripping these open. Now, if you go to cardboardconnection.com, there should be, should be able to see, uh, should be able to see what the uh, card count is. I don't know why the angles are never right on this, but that, that's good enough right there. I sliced the front of the box already. Oh, there it is. All right, good luck, everybody. There it is, 24 packs, 14 cards per pack. So you can do the math there, and 12 boxes in a hobby case. These are the hobby exclusives right here. Thanks, Tops, for letting us rip these uh, a night early, which is awesome. There, there is a giveaway at the end to some exclusive rip party packs that they're going to mail to us, and we can uh, we can check those out too. If you're a winner of those, it should be pretty nice. Well, we 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 uh, we want to be in that showcase as well, Sam. But maybe next time. Maybe next time. We're happy to do the after. We're just we're happy to open these up a night early, though. As you can see on the top camera, Sean will be pack stacking these. Uh, yeah, Kyle, there's one uh, auto or relic per box. There's the final printout, by the way. Stacks to one box, good. 
For the hot, yeah. And then fine. just put the box top or the black pack on top. Yeah, that's good. So for the double header breaks right here, um, uh, vet commons don't ship, but everyone gets a random stack of 30 vet cards, vet commons, right? In the pick your teams, everything ships. Marcus, the schedule is in the chat. Check it out. It's, it's pinned in the chat. This is our first break of the day. This is the double header number one. Oh, is it all vet split between 30 spots? Well, whatever. Read the item description, folks. It's, that's, it's all in there. Whatever it says in the item description. That's what you're going to get. Oh, they, can, they, can't, they can't play favorites, Curtis. That's why. So sometimes it works against us. Grizzle, what's going on? Rex, what's up? All right, here's our first look at it. I like these, what, 1986 inserts here. So in hobby, all the all the inserts or variations are either flipped around or something like that. The short prints should be. Short prints should be flipped around. All right, there's there, we got some die cuts going on here as well. So obviously, the I'll show you another example in a second. Like these future stars right here will be considered uh, inserts, so they will ship. Obviously, all RCs are going to ship rookie cards. That's going to ship. Alec Baum's pretty good. Is this his first rookie year card, Alec, Alec Baum? Baum? Yeah. Remember, he came in late last year. That's right. And uh, he was like a favorite for rookie of the year, but just didn't have enough time under his belt. There you go. So we'll lead off with some Alec Baum. Mike Albertson, all, uh, all the breaks are sold out, except for one team and pick your team eight. Um, and this is, yeah, this is not the, well, we are kind of sold out. There's one more, Alan. But this is our first break of the day. All right, nice. So we've got Isaac Paredes. Out of four ninety nine, yeah, Rex, pretty much. I mean, not not me specifically, but so these are all inserts right here. So those those will shit. I kind of like the the little foil piece. That's what I was just saying. I they have their. Incredible. I think that looks kind of yeah. It makes it kind of pop well, a little that bit. And that Isaac Perretta sparkle you just pulled. That thing like with that foil looks really cool. Yeah. Tigers, that was Mark Jenkins with that one. So those are inserts, those will ship. And we've got another parallel here, Byron Buxton to 2021. For the Twins, that's going to be for Jorge. Oh, yeah, Alan, if you're in for the last one, that's probably going to happen... Into the five, five, six, seven in the morning. Probably not until tomorrow. Oh, if you look, there's a schedule in the chat, folks. Please take a take a look at that. Stars to service insert. There's a lot happening here. Oh, that's Tommy Edmond. Just want to save those Alec bombs as well. These, these look pretty cool too. That Adam Frazier right there, that'll ship. Um, I could pull, I think that's Grizzle in the chat with the, uh, with the Phillies. Nice. Who 
What else are we looking for in this set? Uh, Alec Baum. We've got Alec Baum, Mr. Joe Adele. Joe Adele, right. Joey Bart, stud. Bart, right. Uh, Nick mm -hmm. Madrigal. You got that Isaac Paredes that we just hit. All right, there's, there's a Joe Adele. Uh, no Cronenworth, unfortunately, yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think Brian Peoples mentioned that. Yeah. No Cronor. There's Ben Young with the Angels. Gets the Joe Adele. And there's our first relic of the day. Out of our first box in doubleheader number one, Joey Votto. Is that Mr. That's uh, Mr. Red? Red in there, too. Interesting. Yeah, Matt Didier also saying Joey Bart, Joe Adele, the big rookies in this set. Casey Mize. AC Mai is officially a rookie in this set. That's right. Ryan Mountcastle, too. Mountcastle. So, there, I mean, obviously all the rookie ships. I'm, I'm going to try to catch as many as possible as we fly through this right here, but those are your uh, those are your main dudes. I don't think I've seen any Joey Bart yet. There's Matthew Boyd. Yeah, Christian Pache, too. Pache. Dylan Carlson. Yeah, there's a lot, actually. It's a pretty stacked class. Dylan Carson Cardinals, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. And we've got for the Blue Jays post game hand wash. Looks like there's like these little indentations in these cards right there. I, I saw it on another insert. So we apologize about that. Well, I mean, it's a Topps manufacturing error, but just something to keep an eye out on when you're getting into product that some may have that. There's a machine that pushes in the cards. Sometimes it catches right there. There's Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles, Matt Arnold. Sixto Sanchez, too. Is that relic numbered? Good question, Cynthia. Ne negative. I think, I think some can be, but this one is not. Yeah, Sixto Sanchez, too. I mean, there's a lot of names. All rookies will ship, obviously. We've got Tatis Jr., I guess, home run challenge for the Padres. So, yeah, there's a ton. All right, we've got these neat cards here. Byron Buxton, Jordan Alvarez, Francisco Lindor, and a Brady Singer. Which is number. That's to uh, 150 right there. Nice. 150. Royals. That'll be for Derek Riley. You said this is 86? 86. I think. 85 or 86. That design? One of my, that's actually one of my favorite designs. So here's another box right here. Another box right over here. And that right there, another box right over here. We'll give Sean some room. All right. Good luck, everybody. There's a there's our first Dylan Carlson or there may have been others but there's a Dylan Carlson. Uh, Carlson for the Cardinals. That's going to be for Nick Stover. Similarly autograph right there, but there's Mike Trout. So 
Sam Judge. I'm not sure how we're going to spot these variations. You do not have any flipped around. What's that? No, none has flipped around yet, right? No, none has been flipped around yet, unless they don't do it. I don't it think like it's that. guaranteed one for box, though. I see. You know okay. I mean? Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. I guess we'll find out. There's Christian Pache. Each of I thought that might be numbered, but it's not. As the Braves, Stephen Schwartz, you'll get not only this rookie Pache, but all the others that are in here. I'm sure there have been a few already, but I'll try to spot as much of those as possible. These die cuts are pretty cool too, and kind of a 7 0, 70th anniversary. There's a Nick Madrigal, looks well, pretty good. Alec Baum. I was watching the Rip Party video earlier. Mm -hmm. Mark McGuire pulled a 70th home run like card from 2000 tops. No. Oh. And signed it, and they're giving it away. Whoa. It's part of the Rip Party thing. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, there's Aaron Nola, Major League Material. Yeah, he certainly does have that Major League Material. There's his teammate, Alec Baum, who is a Rookie of the Year finalist. Coppola with that one. First of many, I hope. Nick Madrigal, solid. White Sox, Derek Riley. Rex saying you feel bad for the sorters and shipping because some breaks say all cards should this be a nightmare. Not a nightmare. You know why it's not a nightmare, Rex? Because they've been there before. They're professionals. So this is easy. Easy. Light work. Light work. As the kids say. This is kids play. This is a lot easier than a lot of other breaks. There's the Mount Castle right here. The only thing that I, I think the design is pretty sharp. Someone mentioned this before too, the, the names are a little small. Yeah. If the names are a little bit bigger. The, the overall design. Yeah, yeah, the overall design I really like, like but I they made the names I think just they, they did a good job though because point they, size a tiny bit bigger. They put the border in, which you know traditionally. I do like the border, right? yeah. But then they have that cool little design that like kind of makes it modern. So and foil stamp, yes please. Yeah, the foil stamp I think is pretty sharp. That's a good that's a good idea. There's Whit Merrifield. Flipped around, not numbered, but still looks pretty cool. Again, you got you got that same little issue right there. Hopefully it's just this is just an anomaly in this case. That's for the Royals, that'll be for Derek Riley. Well, Sean's not gonna have to sort this. <laughs> He's fine. There's Mark McGuire. I mean, what's the best card you can get from this? I mean, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of ton of rookies, one of ones, super fractors, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And could go for hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, million, million, depending on the right rookie out of here. With us shipping all this, does this take our selling bet commons over the back of the car? Plan out a bit, of the way? Yeah, this one we won't be able to do that if we. Do that. Now we need a new backup plan? Yeah, we might need a new backup plan. Yeah, but remember, this is this is this is not necessarily like this is not like Dynasty, you know? This is not like a X hundreds of dollars a box set. You know what I mean? This is one of their like flagship products. There is, there's Danzibi Swanson. We could get a uh, more budget friendly gold ticket, right? 
I think they are doing that this year. Yeah. Another one of their parties. I think they pull. Look for a Joey Bart. I know we've seen pretty much all the bigger names that we've talked about, but it's. I mean, it's it's hard to miss him. It's him in catcher gear with his mask off. Mask off. Right? Yeah. The short print is him with mask on. That is also a facsimile. Eye. That almost fooled me. That looks. So that looks real. pretty close. Is that just a gold? Uh, yeah, it does not contain an original <laughs> autograph. Blah 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 blah. blah. I think the, uh, I think the blue ink is. That that almost yeah that almost they can't do they can't do blue they gotta they gotta put that in. <laughs> oh, it's literally a gold label card. Yeah, that's funny. That almost got me. El Canon, what's going on? I know. Sorry, Matt. I'll sign it for you if you want, Matt. And we've got a Shohei Otani. It was flipped around. This must That's be the perfect. variation. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank God they flip around the variations. Remember, oh, pitcher, what a, hitting. That would have been a nightmare. Cool. I think that would have been a nightmare. Matt's going to want that one. Halos. That's going to be for Ben Young. So variations are flipped around. Yeah. Thank God the variations are flipped around. There you go. There's Ben. Is that how they've been doing it, Prim? I felt like that, that was the... Yeah, okay. So I, I was being like extra cautious because yeah. I was like, oh, I better not miss it. Now I can be a little more confident about speeding things up and just looking for, yeah. for rookies now. Once we go to Jumbo, we should be able to test that six card. Yeah, yeah, quickly. yeah. So we'll talk, about, we'll talk about our Jumbo theory once we get to it. Yeah. All right, so basically you just have to know that all rookie cards are going to ship and you're going to get a stack of... Uh, of commons as well. So now that we know that the variations are flipped around. Well, they have SP, they have SSP. SSP, have super ultra, short print. And then they have ultra this year. You, First time ever. USP? Ultra short print. USP. Yeah. So the variation for the Mike Trout, we have this up there. He's he's in his in the dugout wearing a mask. And there, there are some others where, like, the Garrett Cole one looks really cool because so it's both, like a bird's eye yeah. view of him, like, unleashing a pitch. So there, there's a lot of cool variations. He looks like he's all torqued up. Yeah. Are silver packs included in this break? Of course. Imagine if we kept the silver packs, people would be like, <laughs> F you guys. <laughs> I don't know of any breaker who would just hold down on the short on the silver packs for you. I mean, maybe there are. Those would be the ones I wouldn't break with. This is my tip. Is there a Nola Relic, the Phillies? God, these look so good. Yeah, they Especially do, the they do, they right do there. look really good. Like Might have to buy a box of these. I'm going to buy lots of them. I mean, eventually, do they have retail out already? Uh, yeah, it's been out for like a week, I think. Or just earlier this You've week. You've actually seen people hold the silver packs? <laughs> I mean, why? I mean, okay. It just seems... Terrible. Seems like a hassle. You like pricing product and try to price the cost of those packs back there. It'll be split up, Grizzle. Oh yeah, we'll we'll get it, Grizzle. We'll get it. Before we split up all the cards into like vet stuff, we go through and pick out all the inserts and everything else that might have missed. I mean, otherwise these breaks would be like an additional. 30, 40 minutes if we were sitting here sleeving every single rookie card out of here. Ooh, out of 70. 18 out of 70. Ronald Guzman. Nice. Yeah, don't worry, folks. Every single rookie card is shipping. Uh, Kyle, yes, you can request that. I don't know if you're going to get it, though. <laughs> that means we'd actually be 
doing the actual sort, which is what we're trying to avoid. And if we sort that out, then then I, then I'll have to sort everyone else is out by that point too. Then so that defeats that. the whole purpose. I might go get some '90s Mariners cards from my personal collection for him. Another Joe Adele. Right. I'm glad I have a backup shirt for when I sweat through this one. <laughs> you can pop on that AC if you want to. <laughs> And out of 2021, we've got uh, Daniel Johnson, Cleveland. That'll be for David. The color variations are cool, too. I like that. Junior, Junior, when will the 18-box mixer will go? That'll go whenever it sells out. Tomorrow. And, but, I mean, we're doing Series 1 for the next 12 hours, so it's not going to be until, until tomorrow. But whenever it sells out after that... Aha, there's a Joey Bart. I don't think we I don't think I've pers we might have seen one already, but I've not personally spotted one. Some of the photos on these are so good. It's yeah, like, the photography's like pretty print. solid. Like that uh that uh, pool holes right there on top. This looks clean. And a nice Mike Trout here too. Alright, so that's a, those half stacks are all right, full box, and we'll rip through three silver packs right there. Thanks, Alcano. Yeah, we got. I got this Bowman hat. We had from like a tops event from last year, maybe. More Major League material, Nolan Arenado, Rockies edition. 115 out of 199 for Colorado. That will be for Coppola. Still go the Rockies, of course. He's a Cardinal now. And they just re-signed Yachty as well. Earlier today. Cole Wong's a brewer. Colton Wong is a brewer. Has there been any other kind of major transactions lately? I don't know. I heard, I heard this not guy, Trevor Maurer. Uh, Trevor, we've already talked about Trevor, like in the last two days. Oh, I mean, that's like five days. Yeah. That's old news. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Did you see the big apology he had to make today? He did? Trevor Bauer. Why? So apparently his, uh, apparently his website... Um, Diane, that's only they're they're only good on the the channel that you got them from. So Insta is good on Insta's channel. YouTube's good on over here. They don't cross, unfortunately. They're different websites. His, so his website accidentally started selling him in uh, like Mets merch, Trevor Bauer branded oh. Mets merch, <laughs> which which got people thinking. That, and this was before he made the decision, obviously. Well, that's awesome. So he start, they started accidentally selling that. It wasn't supposed to be the case. And so he made this big apology about, like, sorry, I didn't mean to lead people astray and blah, 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 blah. Here's a question. Can the Mets sue him um, for using their logo that he doesn't have rights to because he's not part of the team? I don't know how that works. Sue him. Steve. I mean... Probably, but I'm, I'm sure it's just like 
maybe he's just, I don't know, he can give the customers their money back is probably what's going to happen. He uh, apparently put, like, 10 grand into four New York City area, like, uh, uh, charities as, like, a sorry kind of thing. So, I mean, I don't think anyone's going to sue him over probably whatever, like, what amounts to, like, a few thousand dollars of merch things. I'm going to call Steve Cohen up after this. <laughs> you're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna go fund me a lawsuit against you're gonna, you're gonna try you're gonna try to get a uh, he's making eighty five million dollars next few years he can afford it come on yeah but I mean I think he'd just be like I'm just gonna give the money back which is probably like two thousand dollars they're gonna really sue for like two grand of merch that might have been sold maybe even less uh, Matt's saying he had a, a signed Angels hat on his site too <laughs> yeah so I mean he's he's signing major league I mean like so what it's not like a licensing issue it's just like you know like. I, I suppose he could sign other team hats and sell them on his site, right? But I, did, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, I guess. I think the club that pays him probably wouldn't appreciate that, but but I don't know if there's like a law against that. Out of 2021 is Yadier Molina. We're just talking about him. Just re-signed a one-year deal, I think. One year deal. Cardinals, more for Nick Stober. Joe Adele. Looking to be hashtag good for the hobby if he breaks out this year. That'll be for Ben and the Angels. You got Raphael Devers. You got a blue border here. There's Sixto Sanchez again. And we have a Nick Heath. That is for Derek Riley and the Royals. 215 out of 499. Yes. Here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to grab a, a bunch of them in just a second. Stand by. No worries. I'm just moving this row over so it's not... Another Joey Bart. Let me just slide these over right here for someone to pop those open in just a second. Another box. There's another box. There's another box. I'm just going to set those back there. There's another one back there. This stack is just going to be slightly off camera, but it's all there. It's not going anywhere. There'll be no one knocking at the door. All right, so for the previous three boxes that we ripped open, let's see what's in here. We got the Ichiro, the Robin Yount, George Brett, and Joey Bart. Nice. My rivals are the Giants, Kyle Cook with the San Francisco Giants. There you go. It's supposed to be future Buster Posey is what they're hoping. We got Jack Flaherty, Sonny Gray, Luis Robert, second year, and we got a Tony Gwynn. Nice. That's for Bill Dravrosian. There you go, Bill. Gets the Tony Gwynn, the old 86 version, to 75. Right there. There you go, which is... 
Yeah. Now, I wish they had kind of included the included his eighty six year in there, but it doesn't. I'm sure he was hitting very well. <laughs> and for the third box, Evan White. Ichiro, Robin Yount, and George Brett. Very nice. All right. Okay, what do you need from me? Let's go through... This is all hobby. That's all hobby. Yeah. All right. And then Jumbo. Okay. Do you want me to start ripping that? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, let's, let's fly through some more boxes here. We're going to have to pick up the pace just a little bit here, ladies and gentlemen, just so we can try to get this in under two hours, which is what we had slated for this doubleheader. Schedule is pinned in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, so be sure to keep an eye on that. I think Nightbot should be dropping the schedule as well, so if you're wondering, hey, what break is this? What are we going to do later? How late are you breaking tonight? What's the schedule? What's the order? It's all in there, folks. All in the break schedule. Please check that out. If someone asked that question, please direct them to the to the break schedules so we can, we can conserve our energy for all of this. The breaking, the good stuff, the important part. Least favorite day of the year, Billy's asking. It would be the day after the Super Bowl. So yesterday, because that means the NFL is over, and now there's nothing that builds up to my Sundays. So I think that would be the least favorite day of the year. You could subsidize that anger with the horse racing. Uh, yeah, I guess I could... I guess I could just really just dive into that, huh? Fun. Okay. Jumbo. There's Xander Bogarts. Solid case jumbo. All right, everyone sees the top camera right there. You can see the the remaining four hobby boxes sitting back there. I don't know. What's your least favorite day of the year, Billy? Insert there too. And of course, we'll do a we'll do a relic short print numbered card um, uh, recap at the end. Oh, so this is a variation. No, it's flipped around like this, but that's not the variation. He's got the no, that is a variation. Is, that's the the right is the base yeah. card. So this is different. Yeah. So that's this is him completing the swing. That might be a ultra short print. I don't know. Let's see. What's the number? What? On that one? Hold on. Angels. Ben Young. Super short print. Okay. So that, that's a short print. Super short print Wait, is look, face look, mask. Look, look. Super short. Oh, print super face short mask. print's the face. So this must be SP, just a short print. SP. So number two thirty. It's two thirty. There you go. Yeah. There short you go. Short print. Mike Trout. Angels clean it up. It's not the shortest of prints, but it is a short print. The regular one is him just cocked and ready to go. This one, he has completed his, his amazing swing. He's, he's what and ready to go? Cock, cock? <laughs> like, the, like a trigger. This is a, we're, we're not even at 7 o'clock yet, Joe. What are you talking about? You're the one who turned it into that. You said it. You're the one who turned it into that. Come on, Sean. Come on, Whoa, Sean. Boss man. Come on, Sean. Joe's saying it. Unbelievable. All right, another Alec Bomb. Many of those. There's an ultra short print that they haven't released a number on it for some reason. Like, they obviously 
the, all this information is not from Tops directly, but after. So 230 is the short print. There's a super short print that's Trout with a face mask on, kind of akin to the one I'm wearing. We don't know what the ultra short print is yet. Out of 2021, we've got Shoei Otani, who just signed a two-year, $8.5 million, $8 million deal. Hell of a deal. That seems like a bargain if he can do what he did in his rookie year. I mean, we could have paid 10 times that and gotten uh, Trevor Bauer, who can't hit. And you've gotten a much better player. You know what I mean? You've gotten a much better pitcher. Could have. Uh, When's Shoei going to win a sign? Trevor Bauer can do both. He can hit and pitch. Trevor, Trevor Bauer? None. You just said Trevor Bauer can hit and pitch. He can because there so is I mean, uh, there is no DH Otani. in the NL this year. Otani. You made my point for me. Good call, Sean. No, I mean, the thing is, Otani can, does have the potential to pitch as well as Trevor Bauer. He just has to show it. Which means we're paying him a tenth. No. Angels, big brain management. Dodgers, little brain management. Is that a, nod, a head nod of agreement? That was, that, that was I, I rolled my eyes into the oh, camera. Okay. I thought you were agreeing with me for a second. No. Blind squirrel. You find a nut. Brian, I'm, I'm okay with that. I like the Padres. That's my NL team. That's your NL team? Yes. Don't, now you're just embarrassing yourself. Why is that embarrassing? Why do you have Why do you have like two different teams? Who does that? First off, I have the Angels. And well, the what's your team? NFC team then for football? I don't have one. That's just ridiculous. There's only one team you can support, and then it's your team. That's you think true. Brian Peoples has like has like the Padres, and then his like his AL team I'm that sure he roots he for? Roots for he doesn't one. have an AL team. I'm sure he does. No, that's just that's just silly. No, There's Raphael not. Devers. Dancing. Come on. It's a variation. That goes to Narek and the uh, Red Sox. See? Kyle has an NL team. What are you talking about now? See? Now Tigers you're... and fish. This is a common occurrence, Joe. Why do people do this? It should just be one just be one team. It's not true. Ew, Kyle, bro. There's Joey Bart. Right there. Uh, sports Card Bandit. That's a good question. The card stock feels about the same as it did last year. Feels pretty sturdy. They could be the same state, Matt. Come on. We got out of 300. This is Doolittle. <laughs> is that Sean Doolittle? He's yeah. So good. Like Get it, Sean? Because he's out of 300. Yeah. And then he, and then someone's going to kick him into a big pit. Is that an advanced stat, Sean? Are those out of 300? I don't know what the, the uh, I don't know where my list went, but yeah, it's out of 300. Oh, yeah, advanced stats. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's the advanced stat one. Was it flip back? It was. Okay, cool. Or no, it was, well, it was because it was numbered. Okay, cool. It was serial numbered to right. 300. Uh, that's for the Nats. That'll be for Jeffrey. Jeffrey S. Yes, with that one. All right, here's another bo uh, half a box right here. Patrick Goodman, you think the Toronto Blue Jays will go to the World Series this year? All right. That, I mean, that would be hashtag good for the hobby. A lot of people with their Bo Bichettes and their Kevin Biggios and Vlad Guerrero Juniors with... Randall Grichuk's. Randall Grichuk's. Um, who's that Wagyu Spack guy? Oh, that guy's awesome. Jacob Wagusfak. Well, Wagusfak, Nate Pearson fans would um, love that. Randall Grichuk drafted by the Angels ahead of Mike Trout. The head of Mike Trout. <laughs> what was that about, like, smart picks again? Well, first off, uh, that just means we got Trout even lower for even smaller slot money. Come on. Great deal. It's about the one good thing they've done in the last 15 years.
Now it's just by luck. He just he just dropped that far. Whoa! Hollywood shots fired. I think the Blue Jays will be at the World Series this year because players will get discounts to buy tickets to the World Series. Wow! Ooh! Shots fired. There's Jesus Lazardo for the A's. That'll be for Alex. Let's get a soundboard. <laughs> Doot, zing. <laughs> Can we make it all uh, Bob Euchre stuff too? Oh, that's yeah. low. Oh, that just makes it look like it's an autograph, but it's not. It's just Inception. <laughs> Jet says they won't. They, their rotation isn't good enough. I don't know. Nate Pearson's pretty good. Hyunjin Ru's solid when healthy. Didn't they add a couple other starters to that rotation? I thought they'd been putting in some work. Beep. Good choice. Did you guys get cheesecake too? Oh, yeah, we did that. Yeah. Ooh. Damn. Did, you, did one of you guys get the macadamia nut one? The what? What do you mean? Is that like a macadamia nut cheesecake? Is there? No, I heard better. I was going to do this with a lesson. But I got like this part. These will just go to the teams that's shown on the front of the card, twins. Right, they got Matt. Steven Matt. Matt, Mott, Mott's from the Mets. Yeah, Brian, Brian's very happy now. Yeah, Brian's happy about baseball <laughs> season. Hey, do you guys want to talk about the Padres some more? Well, I'm sure we'll be talking about the Padres all season long, actually. That, that, that's a good team. If that team clicks, certain. scary times. There's a Christian Pache in this refractor silver design format. Nice, brave, Stephen Schwartz. Is Vlad Jr. really down 50 pounds? Yeah, you didn't see the Ooh. picture? He looks ripped. No, well, that's good. They're, they're, are they going to keep him at first base? Mm -hmm. Maybe he's making a play to go back across the diamond to third. Hot corner? Yeah, the hot corner. We've got Mike Miner, Oakland A's. That'll be for Alex. It's to 2021. Yeah, Knack11 says they definitely need one more quality starter, which they might be able to pick up in the middle of the season. Jed says it's going to still be going to be at first because they signed Simeon. Doesn't Simeon play second base, though? Does that <laughs> Look at the uh, playful fighting there. Yeah, they're going to keep keep Vlad at first base. It sounds like that's going to be the case. Which is better, Dodger dogs or Chicago dogs? Chicago dogs. I haven't had enough Chicago dogs to really to really say that I have a strong opinion on it. So I don't know. Sean Sean must have had enough Chicago dogs, so he's saying Chicago dogs. Trust the fat guy. Right. But really, yeah, Narc, I, I would agree. I mean, if you're talking about in-stadium dogs, that's a little, you can't really compare an in-stadium Dodger dog to a out-of-stadium Chicago dog. You know is, what I mean? Is there Chicago dogs in-stadium there? In-stadium there? Yeah. 
Well, then I then I can just say, well, what about like the fancy gourmet hot dogs that they serve at Dodger Stadium? Then you can kind of go down that route. That's not fancy. Then there's like Pink's versus like Chicago dogs. Then you're, you're literally just putting in like it's celery salt and friggin' relish and a. I mean, like, if you're talking Pink's hot dogs versus Chicago dogs, Pink's dogs, Pink's taco uh, hot dogs are pretty good. Is that right? The Chicago dog was started in Wrigley? That I did not know. In Wrigley Field. It's good trivia. I mean, I don't discriminate about hot dogs, though. I mean, yeah. I mean, hot, hot, hot dogs are hot dogs are pretty good. Okay, things. All right, then we've got, ooh, a color that we have not seen before. Th five out of 50, Jonathan Daza for the Rockies. Coppola. But uh, Narc is right. The best hot dogs, though, are like the the street dogs. that You get the, the bacon-wrapped hot dogs. Right, that, after the right after the concerts. They're and right also, after. They're also the ones you don't feel the, most comfortable with, either. No, the, I feel pretty comfortable about it. Yeah, I've I've had those. They, yeah, I mean those won't be those wouldn't be around if they got people sick, right? They're so popular because they are good and legit. I think my favorite is that they make them out of shopping carts. Yeah, it's, fa it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's uh, it's that's that's some entrepreneurial ingenuity right there. Out of twenty twenty one, we got Julio Urias. For my Dodgers, that's going to go to Nick Stover. He's got the Dodgers. Uh, JPZ, yes, this product just, uh, well, no, it did not, it's not coming out until tomorrow. But if, uh, but on jazbeescasebreaks.com, this is part of the Topps Rip Party After Hours. So we have the, uh, we were lucky enough to be able to open these a night before the new release day, which is awesome. So thanks to Tops for that. Mm, Mac, that was for a different group of people, I'm afraid. We were not part of the Platinum Box Cutter uh, tournament. We, we are the After Hour Entertainment. Tops Rip Party After Hours. And we get a chance to rip open these things early, which is awesome. Yeah, we're not in trouble, John. That's precisely why we're opening this right now. Tops has give us, given us their blessing. They said, go ahead. Pop that baby open. And people in these breaks are also part of the uh, randomizer that'll get you some exclusive rip party packs. Awesome, thank you. Oh, that's Joey Votto right there. Josh McKee, are we selling anything? No. I mean, we are on jazbeescasebreaks.com, but if you if you notice the schedule, you'll see that we're we're booked until maybe 10 a.m. tomorrow. But no, no, Alan, we did not. We were we were not part of that. We were not part of that uh, that promo there. Terry, these are these uh, is this Javier Jumbo? It's both. We're doing a double header. So th right now we're working through a bunch of hobby boxes right now, and then the then we're going to be doing a uh, a jumbo case, all in one. Anything you need? Mm. No, not at the moment. Okay. 
<laughs> no, Nick Sober, we're not doing that Kobe mixer. I don't think it's even full yet. But if you look at the schedule, we, we wouldn't be able to do it until tomorrow anyway. What are the chase cards for this release? I guess any of the any of the top rookies this year, which there seems to be a lot of, and we'll see which ones like emerge to be the the ones that everyone chases throughout the summer. But Joey Bart is one of those guys. You know, Alec Baum is another one of those guys. Ryan Mountcastle, so on and so forth. Obviously, all of the rookie cards ship. You really don't know who's going to end up being like the dark horse candidate. There's always like a rookie that jumps out of nowhere, right? And then it's like, oh yeah, that guy suddenly, suddenly part of rookie of the year conversations, you know? So, could be any number of these players. And then obviously, any kind of short print you're looking for. You know, I think Casey Mize is a rookie here. Dylan Carlson, yeah, Joe Adele. Um, Sixto Sanchez, people are talking about as well, could be. But any, I mean, basically any anyone who's a hitter and who breaks out, you know, I think that's going to be really what people are going to chase. So many, Owen, it's kind of hard to say. All right, and there is David Bodie. Um, Aro Zarania, I think, are rookies last year in 2020. That's, this one's a 299 for the Cubbies, Narek. But I think um, I think Wander Franco might be an RC this year. That I don't know for sure, actually. Someone look at the checklist. There are autos in this cascade. It's it, The box says either one auto or a memorabilia card per box on average. But traditionally, in uh, if the last few years are of any indication, it usually ends up falling maybe. That's a facsimile. How many autos per case in a hobby? Maybe like three or four, two or three? Not, I not, think it's not, like two or three. It's not many. Yeah. Jumbo, obviously one per box. Yeah, Jumbo is where you get guaranteed something. For the Yankees, we've got Luke Voigt to 2021. That's Ross with the Bronx Bombers. And obviously, like we saw that Mike Trout base right here. Obviously, if we get like a Mike Trout short print or, you know, Mike Trout super short print or any of those kind of players, obviously those will be um, those will be big money as well. So we just did uh, four boxes right there. Let's do four silver packs and we'll grab some more uh, hobby boxes and we'll keep rolling. So we got a, we got a rookie here in that 1986 format. That's for the Rangers. That's going to be for Derek Riley. Yeah, thank you, Prim. Yeah, schedule's in the chat, folks, so you know what's going on. Terry, you, didn't, you don't like this 86 set? I don't know. I kind of like the, 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 the big name on top. The two colors right here? No, maybe not. Drew, I don't know. Why, why don't you click on it and find out? There's Nick Madrigal here. He's supposed to be pretty solid as well. That's for the White Sox. That'll be for Derek Riley. All right. So if you look on the top camera right here, I'm grabbing one, two, three, four silver packs. We're setting them right there. And here's a hobby, half a hobby box. 
and the other half. Here is half a hobby box and the other half. Hobby box, the other half, and here's the final hobby box right there. All right, and so the rest right here one, two, three, four, five, six are the uh, jumbo boxes. All right. All right, good luck. John, check the schedule in the chat. It's pinned in the chat. Looks like two monster boxes for every double header. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Oh, are you asking if me specifically is breaking? No, Jaspies is collectively is breaking all night. Whether it's going to be me or not, we'll find out in a few hours or so. All right, all right, all right. I think the price is going to be pretty much the same for... Uh, for the actual new releases. The only thing you don't get when we put the non-Rip Party new releases up is the exclusive Rip Party packs. You won't be able to win those. Will we have more tops up on the site, Tyler? Yes. We will. I don't know if Rushman's in this, Yervin. That's a good question. I don't have the checklist handy at the moment. I, I want to say no. Who? This guy is. Ad Adley Rushman's not in this, no, right? No, he's not up yet. I don't think Ryan, he's even... Ryan Mountcastle's the, the Orioles. Yeah. Guy. I think Rushman is still like a year or two away. Uh, Drew, how many cases did we get? Well, you can take a look on the schedule and see what we have breaking, or on the website, and see what's sold out. At least that many. Oh, sorry. There's Javier Baez, shortstop, Relic, Cubs. That will be for Narg. I mean, it's hard to say who's going to be, like... Who's going to be like the big name in these sets? Because it's all going to depend on who's, who, who breaks out as a rookie this year. Is it going to be, is Alec Baum going to continue what, he's, what he did last year? You know, will, will Joey Bart get a ton of playing time, do what he does? I think Casey Mize might be a rookie in here. Is Casey Mize, you know, it just depends on how, how they perform. You know, you're just you're just trying to get as many rookies in your arsenal as possible, and then from there you're just like, all right, watch a lot of baseball in the summer and hope something great pans out. There's a uh, Albert Abreu. To four ninety nine, that is for the Yankees. That'll be for Ross. When's Dominguez ever coming up? Yeah, I think Drew just asked that question too. I think it might be a few years. The thing that hurts Dominguez, because Dominguez was what, 18, 19 years old when that, that the big Jason Dominguez hype was going on last year? So he's still pretty young, and because of the pandemic, he lost a, I think he lost a good chunk of the minor league season. So I think that is that might delay his his progress a little bit. But I would say a few years. So I don't know, Drew. We're 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 not part of that. We're just we're just we're just the tops after hours. Maybe next year we'll we'll be able to chase the platinum box cutter. 
This year, we're just happy to open these babies up a night a night earlier than everybody else. That'd be honest. It's, it's pretty nice. And we'll eventually get those. Uh, we don't have the Rip Party packs on us right now. They're they're uh, in transit from Tops. So whoever the winners are, those will be sent a little bit after, um, maybe a week or so after today. So just keep that in mind. I'll remind everybody again when we do the randomizer. I'm going to try to pick up the pace just a tiny bit here. We've got, oh, nice Joey Bart numbered for the Giants. Kyle Cook. I have no idea, Mac. We weren't part of that promo, so I don't, I don't know what the details were on that. Oh, there you go. Yervin saying Dominguez literally turned 18 just a few days ago, so yeah. He is supposed to be a phenom, but I'm sure it'll be I'll have to marinate a little bit before we start seeing him in the majors. And then you got to figure out who's still around. Yeah, Matt saying 2023. Ben Ben was saying late 20, maybe a cup of coffee in 2022. But then it also it'll also depend on who's ahead of him. You know, who is there anyone blocking his path? Is he going to have to learn a new position? You know, something like that. So that that might. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Giants. Sorry, Kyle. I think it's okay. Tops gave us a nice little mat right here, so it protects the card. But, um, you know, I think it'll just all depend on... Uh, it'll just all, all depend on how he advances through the system. But, yeah, a few years, it sounds like, in general. Unless he just flies through all the minor league systems throughout the seasons, which is possible, which would probably be good for the hobby. Joe, do I like the Bauer signing? I do. I especially like that it's a uh, it's a, a short term deal that we're not locked into, you know, a pitcher. What on the other side of? Is he already thirty something? Close to it. That's Ronald Acuna. That's a variation. Nice, Stephen Schwartz with the Braves. Hi, Dan. But I like the Bauer signing. I like it's a short-term deal. The Dodgers do have a good farm system, so I don't know if they want to block the paths of a lot of these young pitchers. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, Padres are definitely going to be are, are definitely gonna be a challenge this year, so I think that would be good. I think it's good for the Dodgers to have a little competition in the NL West. Dan, how do you know when, the, when your break comes? You look at the break schedule. That's pinned in the chat. So check that out. If you just bought into a spot, it, um, we're pretty much booked until like 10 in the morning tomorrow. So I don't think it'll be until tomorrow. And that's 70 out of 70. We've got Dalton Varsho for the Snakes. Ross with the Diamondbacks. Right, that, that black border is pretty sharp. Right. And I think the Dodgers strategy with uh, with Trevor Bauer, I think, is something that I think is, is, you know, something that the Dodgers certainly have the deep pockets or the luxury to do stuff like that. But then, you know, it's good that you don't, you're not locked into, how many times have you seen players locked into 10-year deals, you know what I mean? You look at the Bryce Harper deal versus the Trevor Bauer deal. What, what do you want? You want to get, you want to get married to someone for 10 years or <laughs> know that you could play the field again after a few years? I think for baseball, I think that I think the shorter term deals work nicely. Yeah, you looked at the schedule, Dan. Yeah, no, we're not. That schedule's not lying to you. We wouldn't lie to you, Dan. It's for reals. 
Don't worry though. We'll do we'll do uh, we'll do recaps at the end of each break, so you can just go to bed. You can just wake up, look for your break on the video list on our channel, and then uh, just fast forward to the end, and then you'll be able to see uh, you'll be able to see what you got. <laughs> yeah, I remember Kevin Brown, Terry. That's for sure. But I mean, the Dodgers have the luxury to do that, though. You know, they they've got they've got the farm system, they've got the deep pockets to be able to do that. But I think if you can do that, I think it's a smarter strategy. You know, uh, otherwise you're gonna you know you're gonna be like you're gonna be like the Angels, you know, paying you know paying uh, Albert Pujols like ten million or ten year contract or Jeff Hamilton or something Josh Hamilton. So you kind of get locked into those. So it's a different strategy, but I think for the Dodgers it works. And I think they're a little shy about having players locked in for a long period of time. Whoa! <laughs> I almost missed this. Almost breezed by a Casey Mize rookie autograph for the Tigers. Mark with that one. First autograph of the case. Nice. I need another. All right, moving on. Next box. So this is the this is the last of the hobby, and then you can see the camera above my head. That will be, um, that will be the jumbos. As for Bellinger, I think someone was talking about Bellinger. I just I just think. Uh, I don't know. I wonder, is Bellinger going to go the way of... He's going to go the way of Chris Bryant? You know what I mean? That's another rookie of the year slash MVP guy that maybe has fallen a little out of favor of that. You know? So, yeah, Alcan, I'm going to miss a lot, of those, a lot of these cards, man. But just in the interest of time... I'm going to try to catch as much as possible, but the ones I don't catch, the shipping team will get those. And another autograph. It's Jordan Montgomery, 26 out of 50. How old is Trout going to be at the end of his contract, Drew? There you go. So that is for the Yankees. That'll be for Ross. These are always gonna always gonna trick me here. Those facsimile autographs. And yeah, John Samuelson, yeah, the entire Jaspi crew did uh did go with Kansas City. I think a lot of the I think a big part of the betting public also went with Kansas City as well. But yeah, I know, I can't believe we won another one too, Grizzle. Joe M, what's going on? This is Christian Yelich, orange. Oh, I thought it was numbered. This looks different though, right? It's a facsimile autograph, but anyway, that'll go to the Rook Crew. I don't know, you, you Lansky. I think it really just depends on. I think it really just depends on just 
how old Trout is, where he is at the end of his contract. How old is Trout going to be at the end, by the end of his contract? Uh, somebody in the chat said 38. Oh, someone said 38? Yeah. I, I, would I mean, if he, listen, if, he, if, he, if he's healthy, you know, if he's healthy, who, who knows? Why can't, I mean, with, with Tom Brady and um, LeBron James looking like they're going to play well into their 40s, you know, maybe maybe Trout wants to do that. But, you know, at 38, maybe you have different things you want to do. You know, maybe he has a bunch of kids, you know, and he wants to spend time with them. I don't know. You don't know where someone's head's going to be at after after all that time. You know, maybe he wants to be a golem and go, like, ring be a ring chaser, you know, at the towards the end if he hasn't won one already. You know, so, which with the Angels, he probably won't. So you got to think that he maybe, maybe he'll go to Philadelphia. Maybe he'll go to the East Coast and settle down there. And then try to try to chase a ring. That's a cool card. Joey Bart. So all these cards are kind of a glossy sort of design. This one has more of that sort of, what is that, that papery sort of design. Uh, is that vintage stock? Yeah, I think that's what you call, they call it to 99. 99? Yeah. yeah. Vintage stock. Does it have the little, does it have this logo tops? This the, yeah, okay. it has that so on the vintage, top right corner. There you go. Stock. Joey Bart too, huh? Wow. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Giants, that'll be for Kyle Cook. That doesn't suck. So, no, I didn't, John. So you went, you went Tampa Bay money line, and Tom Brady to win Super Bowl MVP. Hashtag humble brag. Well, you know, I did say before the show that 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 my wallet probably should go with Tampa Bay, but my heart just didn't 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 couldn't just go with it. Last night, someone said Jim Tomei signing cards are rare because there's not many out there. Does he hate signing cards? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. Jimmy Tomei. Jim Tomei doesn't have a happy face. I can't presume what how Jim Tomei feels about autographing cards. Maybe he doesn't like it. I don't know. There's a lot of guys that don't sign cards. Ooh, that's right. Oregon is new legal sports betting. This year, you're off to a good start. Then Oregon does. Yeah, I think they it's finally got drive. finally got single game wagering. Did you say that's not a far drive? No. I've done Montana in 24 hours. Why not just go to Vegas and then place a bet? That's a good point. Come on. You Vegas don't. isn't isn't as beautiful though. <laughs> okay, that's true. Okay, fair. Right? Fair. You do you get you do get a lot more. You get a shout lot. Out, shout out Snoqualmie Falls. Oregon. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, if you if you want to go for the scenery, then yeah. yeah. Here's another card out of seventy, Mitch Keller, Pirates, Ryan. If you just tell your wife and kids you're going to Vegas, they kids yeah, that's know. True. Kids know what you're doing. You go, hey, we're gonna go to Oregon. And they're like, oh, dad, thanks. Uh, that I don't know, Glowbug. I don't know if you forfeit the uh, the swag bag if you don't RSVP. That's a good question, though. You should contact Tops. On the the gold the gold thing. The transcendent invite, uh, party invite. All right, here's another Joey Bart right here. They're hoping he's going to be another Buster Posey. All right, and this is the last box, and we'll do last box of hobby, then silver packs, and then we'll start flying through the uh, through the jumbo. So, do you believe that the guy, the the, the streaker uh, during the Super Bowl? <laughs> there was a streaker, wasn't there? Did you did you see the bet there? Apparently, that guy. Put fifty thousand dollars on a streaker during the Super Bowl. Bought tickets to the Super Bowl. Went and did the streaking. Got paid. It had a thousand dollar fine <laughs> and cashed out three hundred seventy five thousand dollars. Can't. Uh, so I feel like the betting whoever. Yeah. Out, can't the book like, like, you know, like you, you? Can't the book invalidate that? Yeah. You altered the bet. bet. If I'm the book, I'm not paying that guy. One hundred percent. There's Brooks Robinson in a different design from like what a year or two ago. Last year? Uh, 2018. A couple years ago? 
2018? If I'm the book, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not paying him. I'm not paying that. I'd be like no. Be like no. It's like it's like it's as if you just rigged the game. Like one, that guy should have shut his mouth. It's like it's like point shaving. Yeah, why did he even open his mouth? Oh, what a dumb. I was like, what a dumb. Great he, idea. Now he doesn't deserve the money. Yeah, I was like, great idea. Don't do that. There's or, Nate Pearson. Or hire your friend to do it. That way if they like search for Right, the hire the name, friend. Right, that's even better. Search hire to see the guy's name who did the streaking. It's not the name of the guy they're paying $375,000. Paul says that he heard that it wasn't true. Everyone said there's no way a book gave those odds for that max bet. Plus 750? That doesn't sound like a crazy odds. Especially on a, I mean, a, a how much? COVID, uh, COVID how much? But then, yeah, but then there is the the Paul does bring up a good point. There's the max bet thing. Like, how much did he, how much did he put down? They said fifty grand, but see, that's the part. Maybe you're not taking more than five thousand dollars on that, right? Maybe a thousand bucks on that. I mean, they're not going to have that much liability on that bet at that amount. Well, if they have to, if they have to even out all the people that said no, right? I mean, I would think that, remember, the first, what, 30 rows were all cutouts anyways? Mm. So it's not like they're letting fans well, that if, close if, to the if, you, if you're the if you're the book If you're the bookmaker at that and you authorize that that $50,000 bet, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's management's not too happy. Because, like, the, the limits are, I think, on, on those prop bets, there's usually pretty severe limits. Maybe he's exaggerating the fifty thousand dollars part, but I still wouldn't pay him the money. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, no. I'd be like, no. Still no. Yeah, yeah. Chris Murphy's also saying like the that that ma fifty thousand dollars on a on a on a wild prop seems to be not likely. I mean, it could happen, but books aren't likely to take that kind of li only, only liability that on take that. that. But is if they, if you also like. We're like, hey, I'm gonna put five hundred thousand dollars on. Yeah, this yeah, team. maybe, yeah, oh, maybe. And I'd also like to put fifty thousand dollars. Correct. Yeah, they're maybe. Like, like, if, sure. If he was making big plays we'll else, elsewhere, yeah, they'll, 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 yeah, yeah, we'll let you do fifty. Yeah, they'll, they'll throw in, yeah, that. they'll throw in that for him. But, but I'm, I'm gonna guess the guy running on the field like that, uh, not. Throw I don't down know. I mean, that's half a million dollars worth of bets. I mean, you can't you just get banned from any like NFL sporting event from then on out? Yeah. I mean, it's trespassing, right? You have to go to jail. You get rest to go to jail. It's Cabrian Hayes, another autograph. So that's our that's about three autos uh, in a hobby case. In case you're counting, usually about two two or three per case. But there's a nice rookie Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates. And we're almost done with hobby, and this is a, this is a double header, so we're gonna be jumping right into the jumbo. And I think we're gonna have to fly through that because this break is taking a little bit longer than I thought. Although it's just kind of getting a feel for the pattern, getting a feel for where all the variations lie. I think that's that's good. These first breaks always take a little while. There's another variation right here. Here's Alex Bregman doing some social media stuff. Probably arguing with Trevor Bauer right here. There you go. That's for Houston. That'll be for Allen. Allen B with that. Yeah, I think EA had had given us the prices on the boxes. I think maybe like a hundred and under, maybe one hundred and fifty bucks for a hobby box and. Yeah, and then like 200 bucks a jumbo, something like that. I think Cardboard Connection has box, pri box prices on their... We have them live right now. Oh, they're on jaspies.com right now. So there you go. Just just look on our website. Easy. And we got Davey Garcia for the Yankees. That'll be for Ross. I didn't want to say it, Grizzle, but thank you. There's Ian Anderson, Stephen Schwartz.
Bobby Dalbeck. Uh, um, it's one auto or relic per per box and hobby. In jumbo, I think you're guaranteed two. Auto, auto, you're guaranteed two, one auto, two relics, two relics in jumbo. No, I think it says that you, it's pre-orders for tomorrow, Mac. Take a look at the site. Yeah, it's got Wednesday and Brancy's. Yeah, there you go. Please pay attention to the site. All right, uh, so those are your silvers. Uh, this is Hobby. Let's set that right back here for the recap. You got more uh, exclusive packs here too. So this is for the first one. Jumbo. Jumbo. Here's another set of of the exclusive stuff. Half a jumbo box. Half a jumbo box. And then another set of exclusive stuff here. The box loaders, we'll, which we'll do at the end of these first three boxes. Half of a jumbo case. Half a jumbo, half a jumbo. Yeah, there's been some pretty nice hits here. Some good short prints. Some nice autographs you'll be able to see once we do that recap at the end. All right, so now we're in jumbo land. And we're going to move a little bit more quickly here. And then we got Aaron Judge. Absolutely, Jeremy Taylor. We record everything. So you'll be able to see it. And we'll do recaps at the end of each of these long breaks. So you'll be able to skip right to the end and kind of take a look at what we, uh, what we pulled. The vintage stock was flipped too, right? So like I think the vintage, vintage stock number, was also shipped, yeah. uh, was flipped. Were the colors all flipped too? Anything numbered is flipped, it looks like. Hollywood, click the uh, click the schedule in the chat, and you'll see. Sports card, are you running one stream or new ones for each break? No, we're just doing one. We're just doing one long stream, but then we just we just we have a record button. We can record and. Stop recording to create each individual video. There's Sunny Gray. I think that's a low number right there to 70 as well. It's 49 out of 70. That's pretty nice. Reds. That'll be for Jason. Joe M. Yes, we will have more going up later or tomorrow. But those will not be part of the rip party and they will not be they won't have those uh, the the pack giveaways. And we got a Dane Dunning autograph. No idea on time. Um, I, I, I don't know, David. What does it say in the description? Uh, 
I actually confuse myself on that too. There's Howie Kendrick. Ah, there we go, Prim. Thank you. Prim reads the description. He says, all veteran base cards will be randomly distributed evenly between the 30 spots. There you go. Jeffrey with the National. These are just facsimile autographs. I like this foil Isaac Paredes for the Tigers right there. That'll be for Mark Jenkins. Bobby Dalbeck, Walker Bueller relic for the Dodgers. It's going to go to Nick Stover. Not numbered, right? Yeah, not numbered. Christian Pache. And we've got a Nolan Arenado variation. That'll be for Coppola with the Rockies. Just flipped around right here. It has two card 230 at the end down there. Kind of hard, hard to see on the camera there, but that is indeed a variation. Thankfully, they're flipped around. So they're easy to spot. And these, of course, are considered inserts right here, so that will ship, like the World Series inserts. Mac, I don't know which... Are there cut autos in these? I don't know if they're in the hobby or jumbo, if they are. I actually don't, don't know offhand. It's probably in, that, in the checklist, though. Might tell you which... All right, next one. Cuts in both, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that that's with the sc size and scope of this product, you're barely gonna, I'd be surprised if we saw one at all. Is carpal tunnel a worry for breakers? Only the breakers who don't do proper stretching. Yeah, you get hand massages and just stretch out the ligaments and, you know, you do the proper weight lifting to, to make sure you avoid, avoid all of that and then, you know, get there. That's right, sports car. Yeah, that, that intense breaker workout regime. And I think who who just who just mentioned that, uh, Billy. I think actually, yeah, my the, the my shoulders actually, kind of after a, a night of long breaking, like especially like this, I think it'll end up being the shoulders that actually, kind of are a little more sore than the actual like wrists or uh, or like forearms, you know. out of 50 right there for the twins Nick LaPlante's asking is it just me or are the numbers that tell you if it's a variation get smaller and smaller each year I don't think so maybe maybe our it seems like it but maybe our eyes are just getting worse and worse each year that could be that could be it the Bregman is to 199 that'll be for uh, for the Strohs Alan 
Is it just me where the amount of color parallels or lack thereof seems to be much more pronounced this year? Uh, no. I don't think... I don't think so. I feel like I'm seeing the usual amount. There's not that much in the first place. You know what I mean? In terms of numbered cards and parallels and short prints. I don't think there's very much in the in the first place in Series 1. It's base heavy and it always has been. Yeah. I, I, I don't feel like there's any more or less. I'm not changing that. But you're going for the rookies. You're getting all the, you know, the chances at the short prints. The chances at right. the colors and stuff like that. Lonnie, you could never be a break. It's 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 easier than you think, but in some respects and harder in other respects. These those inserts are pretty cool. I think this. I mean, yeah. I I, th I think everyone who has been a I think everyone who's been a customer for a while and then had become a breaker, everyone I've talked to over the years has always been like, well, it this was the part that I thought was hard, but it turned out to be easy. But then the part that I thought was going to be easy turned out to be really hard. So I think it'll surprise you if you ever get into it. And we've got another spring training relic here. That is Brady Singer for the Royals. Sean's going to talk. He needs a mic so we can hear. You really want to hear more, Sean? 92. <laughs> Zing. 92 out of 299. Derek Riley with the Royals. More hot garbage takes. Yeah, I, I, I think less less Sean on mic is uh, is better. We really don't need to hear Sean. All right, and there's Alex Bregman. Astros, Allen, for the Strohs, that's the 299. Uh, the memorabilia cards, I think, are manufactured. Some, and, and then I think the ones that are just the Yeah, pack they're especially like created for, for Series 1, so they're manufactured for this. The half packs are different. Yeah. The, uh, I think they're like the regular ones. Oh, yeah, and then I think the regular ones... Are like yeah, so this Bregman is worn by the player. Yeah. I guess some of them could be game worn too. Which is harder, the actual breaking or being the. Ho I think the actual hosting of it is probably the harder part. Anyone can rip open packs and sleeve cards and stuff, right? But, I mean, we do it a little differently, though, here at Jaspies. I think we're. We are more like sports talk radio oriented, you know, along with these breaks. Some organizations don't do any of that, and which is fine, but they don't do it, and and they do just fine. You know, so it's really it's really just the vibe of each uh, of each channel that does this sort of stuff. Yeah, David Rodriguez saying a local LCS wanted you to alone to break, run an eBay channel, do player auction breaks. You couldn't handle it. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, just the sourcing of the product alone. Then you got to price the product, and then you got to go on air and sell the product. I mean, thankfully, we've our operation has grown to a level where where like everyone kind of has their own own roles and stuff. So, which which helps out a great deal. But yeah, just doing it solo is awfully tough. Ooh, this is awfully nice. Christian Pache rookie autograph for the Braves. Oh, I thought that was a little bit of dust. That's actually a TM, trademark, in that top corner right there. That's kind of funny. Nice. That is for Stephen Schwartz. There he is, Stephen Schwartz with the Braves. Out of 199. Nice Christian Pache auto. He, he looked pretty good last year. In the playoffs too, so hopefully he keeps that going this year. Right, 
There's Alex Verdugo. Red Sox going to Nark. He's going to be reunited with Kike Hernandez. Come to a reunion first. No, I'm good. Thank you. Did I miss an auto? No. Did I? No, you might have seen a a, 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 a facsimile autograph, Nick LaPlante. Those can those can throw you off. Do all the hits seem like they're bunched, like the last six cards, like we were talking about? No. Although no, I I don't know. Okay. Because I don't know what the what the packs were. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. makes sense. They're all just kind of jumbled up, so I, don't, I have no idea. But it kind of looks like it, right? So that that's a group of cards, and then there's like this the foil, the insert, the, insert, okay. the history of tops, and then I'm back to here. Because what I was doing when I was doing the, the jumbo ones before, I was actually taking off the last six cards and putting those in a separate stack, so it's just all base, and then all the hits at the end. Wait, you also saw an auto? I don't think I missed an auto. You want to, Sean? You want to look yes. through this, like? Where's the most recent stuff? I, I don't know. Probably like right here. In the front. Okay. Look, look through, look through that right there. See if there's an autograph there. Yeah. There is a DVR function, Matt and Nick. If you want to rewind and f find out who it was, let me know. But I think there are facsimile autographs that can be that can be a little tricky. You want to pull those too, just so we can show them what it looks what it looks like. Mm -hmm. That's to seventy. That's going to be Malik Smith. That's for the Mariners. That's for Arthur King. There's Carlos Correa relic. Brian, if we missed one, you'd still catch it on the on the split? I'm not sure what that means. Sort, I'm guessing. Oh, sort maybe? Yeah, we'd catch it on the sort. Yeah, this is a it's a reproduction. It's the Sotani one. He said through the years. That's the that's probably the one they're talking about. I mean, there, there's the these can be confusing, but and there's like another horizontal set that has a, a facsimile autograph, which can be confusing as well. But Matt said it was through it was on a through the years one. That's one of those. So. Yeah, it was at Otani. Yeah, those are obvious. Those are not. Those yeah, are facsimiles. The color autos on those make it seem like it's a. Auto uh, yeah, that I know. You're missing, but the first few boxes, I was I def it definitely got me. Yeah. <laughs> as well. There's an Aaron Judge, also numbered. We'll check that in just a second. Let me just sleeve this. Top loaded. Um, Ross with the Yankees. That's the 299. It's kind of a cool design.
This is to 300. We got Patrick Corbin. For the Nats, that's going to be for Jeffrey. Nate Pearson. Gio Gonzalez, Keston Tira. And here's a nice Keston Tira autograph for the Brew Crew. Got a red border on there. Let's see what that's numbered to. Uh, Michael Wiley with the Brew Crew to 25. Nice. 12 out of 25. Pretty, pretty nice. there. It's Javier Baez and we've got the group of Marlins right here. There you go. Number to 2021 20, Anthony with the fish. All right, halfway through this jumbo case, let's look at the box loaders and everything really quick. And it looks like we've got a Alex Bregman going to the Astros. That'll be for Allen. I'm assuming some of these could be numbered or autographed. Here's another one of those, uh, those like tall boy cards. It's uh, Mike Trout. Nice. That goes to Ben Young and the Angels. And we've got a Pete Alonzo for the Mets. That's going to go to Matt's Doublefield. Now the silver packs. We got Mookie Betts blue for the Dodgers. Nice little color match. Parallel matching the color of the team. That's to 150. Brian Hayes, oh that's a rookie. Obviously all, all of these will, will ship. David Rodriguez, you think they uh, think they photoshopped the crowds in the back? Well, I don't. I don't know. That's a good question. I would imagine. I would imagine no. So most of them are just going to be close up, so that the background's a little blurred out, right? I think there's probably not as many as many background shots as you would think. There's Casey Mize for the Tigers. That's going to be for Mark. And there's an Andres Jimenez for Matthew and the Mets. Oh, 
All right, so the final three jumbo boxes coming up. So these are the stacks of the exclusives right here. We'll do those at the end. Here's half a box. There's the other half. Actually, can you give me uh, some uh, some of those plastic buckets that we use? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think the double head is going to take up two full monster boxes, plus the hits and the okay, cool. parallels will be in the bucket. No drinks, no nothing, all out. No, I'm, I'm good, thank you. All right, so everything's clear on the top camera right here. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Out of 2021, Nico Goodrum. Louis Lombardi, what was the best pull? I mean, there's been so many, it's hard to choose. This is a double header break right here, folks. A lot of great rookie autographs, a lot of rookie cards, some great short prints. Uh, do you just want me to just tag these boxes, double header number one? Both uh, no, I can do that. Okay. I can do that, thanks. I'm trying to catch as many of these rookies as possible, but but all obviously all these rookies will ship. Casey Mize, Foil, Joey Votto, Reds to one ninety nine. It'll be for Jason. Yeah, Paul, was it you saying that the Cabrian Hayes rookie auto was important because his actual rookie card won't be until series two? Someone someone was saying that earlier. And here's a non-numbered card flipped around. Must be a variation. There he is, Francisco Lindor. Still Indians edition here going to David Rodriguez. And it was Paul who said that. Yeah, they're holding him, holding Cabrian Hayes back for Series 2. But he has autos and rookies in this, and it's just, they're his first rookie cards. So there you go, Pirates fans. Old Pirate, Andrew McCutcheon here. Yeah, so these are considered inserts. These these uh, these will ship. The one with the the tro the rookie trophy on them, and obviously anything RC will ship. Uh, Bichette Future Stars will ship. You know these are Motor City Mashers. That'll ship. This won't ship. This will ship. Oh, that's Nate Pierce. He's a rookie anyway. That'll ship. That's just a facsimile. I guess that'll ship. All right, that's a rookie. That'll ship. Rookie, that'll ship. League leaders, that'll ship. You know, that, that'll ship. That's an insert. You know, that ships.
Brian, if you look at the schedule that's dropped in the chat and pinned in the chat, you'll be able to see exactly where we are at any point of the evening. And there's another spring training cap relic right here. It's Chris Bryant. I guess Prem, you're right. Yeah, technically everything does ship. Everything does ship, Hollywood. And But in certain breaks where things don't ship, they just end up being sold and then donated to, to uh, the money gets donated to some charity. I think we were doing Make-A-Wish uh, maybe last, last year. And to 99, this is the vintage stock, Tristan McKenzie. Nice, different foil stamp on there as well. That is for David and the Indians. Yeah, it, uh, every, yeah everything does ship, actually. But I think, I think the, the question was, was the Boba Shet... Uh, considered an insert when will that go to the uh, the Blue Jays instead of just being part of that random group and I'm saying that it is part of it's for the team not for the random group of vet commons And, wow, that one's autographed. Woo! Angels spring training hat relic and auto for the Angels. Ben Young with the halos. It's a little wrinkly on the uh, penny sleeve here. Let me get a better one. No, this is this is still double header number one, Brian. If you look on this, if you look on the schedule, let me just admire my admire this for a second right here too. This is probably the best hit right here. Yeah, so we're we're not gonna get to uh, eight eight o'clock Pacific. We'll start. We cross those out. The breaks out if they're uh, when they're completed. So that first break is still not completed. We're like, you know, five minutes, five or we're gonna be about twenty minutes uh, behind schedule. But yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, it is numbered four out of five. There you go. Out of five and under, also get the train whistle. Where's my bell? All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, Brian Woodward was uh, was jamming me up a little bit here. Yeah, check the schedule, Michael. We're, we're doing loads of Series 1 tonight. They're all sold out. Oh, in the store. Yeah, we'll have some more loaded up in the store probably at some point tomorrow. I mean, I, th I think we're booked We're booked up all the way until, uh, until at least probably noon tomorrow. We'll be breaking all night.
Uh, yeah, that that's that that'll be coming up a little bit later tonight. There's Yom and Kata. I think, bad luck, Murphy, some cases sold out of order. So we're going to have to go through some orders, actually, and see when that's going to happen. It's looking like it's not going to be until tomorrow. Because it looked like Pick Your Team 1 sold out, and then 5 and 6, and then 2. So 4 must be some at some point after that, maybe slotted in around 5.30 Pacific, 5.30 a.m. Pacific. So pretty much not until, not until tomorrow. We'll go through some orders too, and we'll figure out, uh, we'll figure out what's, what's what. All you look for is autos? No. Actually, I, I would say quite the opposite. I think the rookie cards and the and the uh, short prints that you could find here are I mean unless you get that trout obviously, but I think I think the rookie cards and the short prints out of here tend to be sometimes valuable than some of the more random autos that you find in here. So it's more of a rookie uh, rookie card parallel chase, I think. There's the 2021 Lewis Brinson. Man, I love these. That's a Mike Trout patch. Ben Young, you should get like a, you should get like a leather jacket, or a denim jacket, and have like, and get this uh, put on put on your denim jacket or something like that. You'd be the coolest kid on the block, I think. And I'd do it. Nickerson, any autos? Nah, none. <laughs> No, there hasn't been any autos. Uh, no, you did not miss my Super Bowl analysis. I didn't really have an analysis. It's kind of a boring game. Lost a lot of money. Investing in the uh, the fortunes of the Kansas City Chiefs, which just didn't happen. At the end of the day, I don't know if the money was really the big deal. I just wanted to see a pretty decent game, but turn out to turn out to be a, a, a snooze cruise. So, I mean, what's there to talk about? Brady won another one. Kansas City didn't show up. You know. Are you telling me that it was boring? The people that were rooting for Tampa Bay were bored with the game too. eBay. Because they were just like, all right, I mean, I guess that's it. I mean, by the second quarter, then you are, I, I guess I'm going to cash. <laughs> it's like, that's it? Nothing else is going to happen? So, yeah, I, th I, think, I think even if you were winning, there are some people who are just like not nonplussed with the, with the game itself. Yeah, if, if, if you want some wacky prop, then yeah. You know, like Blue Gatorade at plus 650, that's got to be fun. But even like Tampa Bay betters, I'm like, they're just like, eh. 
That's it. How can watching the goat take down? I mean, he, did he really? Did he really was? I don't think he was really pressured to take anything down. Like it's, it just seemed inevitable. And it's like, I was like, there, like, okay, that was the game. Good for him. It's for the Astros. I mean, after the fact, yeah, it's that's it's cool that Tom Brady got seven, you know. But I think the the process the the process of that sausage that's that that was made. Is Dean Kramer for the Orioles, the making of that Super Bowl seven. You know, was I? Th I think I think, and a lot of my friends who were on Tampa Bay would agree. That the making of number seven wasn't wasn't as exciting as him just actually doing it. Hey, as as long as some as long as someone's winning, Rob, it's fine with me. Nah, I didn't lose my shirt. I think I lost more on on just like all the over props that I've had on on all sides. That's where I was bummed about. But hey, they can't, they can't all be can't all be last minute thrillers. Yeah, I did hear about that, Seth. I we're I'm we're debating on whether that fifty thousand amount is actually actually holds water. Like, what book would actually take that at that amount? Is Brett Gardner to two twenty one and. Another thing to put on your denim jacket. There's Barry Larkin. And there's Brett Gardner, 2021. Sorry, these two guys. I suppose you could get multiple autos from a jumbo, but I don't. I don't. I, I think that's not common. I think it's one autograph and then and then a couple relics per box on average. Technically, he didn't streak. Right. So, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of ways the book can not... If, if the book did take 50000 on a prop like that, which I, I guess they could, you know? That one's for the Mets. I feel like I feel like they can just grade it. Like, the, the, the books can just grade it differently and just be like, well, it wasn't really streaking. You know, there's 63 out of 70. Matt Stubblefield and the Mets. And there's William Contreras for the Braves. That'll be for Steven Schwartz. I mean, what was the, uh, yeah, what are the criteria for, like, a streaker prop on on FanDuel? Okay. 
Streaking, there has to be a lack of clothing, right? At least down, at least down to the underwear. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Props are weird. Like I don't know. I don't know how you like you would actually a book would actually grade that out, <laughs> especially when fifty thousand dollars are on the line. I could see like five thousand dollars. Like the book taking five thousand dollars and then eating that loss, but but yeah, I mean, I'd like to see more more details on that. Like, where's where's Darren Ravel? Isn't this something that he? This is a story that he'd get on. Let's go, Darren. Get to work. From this from us, will a fan streak the field at plus thousand? Like who 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 did that though? Is that not photoshopped? I don't know. Like. Nice, Darksiders. Yeah, exactly, Joe. So, so like, yeah, there has to be some lack of clothing involved in streaking. So, yeah, I don't know. Right, it has to be Will Ferrell style. So I guess the book could still be like, nah, nah. <laughs> it wasn't actually streaking. All right, we got an Anthony Rizzo variation. That'll be for the Cubs. That'll be for Narc. And that's the that's it. That's the end of. It's gonna be more than two monster boxes. No, it's about two monster boxes. All right. And the exclusives. All right here. Let's separate these out really quick. It's Cody Ballinger for the Dodgers. There's Bryce Harper for the Phillies. So uh, Nick Stover has the Dodgers. Coppola has the Phillies. Vlad Guerrero Jr. for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Richard Miller. Yeah, so if he's just a runner, like doesn't that... Uh, can't the book just grade that as not streaking? As defined by, I think, what Joe mentioned, Wikipedia, as defined by Wikipedia? If I'm, if I'm, if I'm running that book, I'm just like, yeah, we're gonna grade that as a, as a no. Kiebert Ruiz for the Dodgers, as along with uh, Spencer Howard for Coppola and the Phillies. And there's Jesus Lazardo. 75. That'll be for the A's. That'll be for Alex. Wait, so did the, wait, did the book actually pay him? Right. Anderson Tejada. 
Wait, so midway through the, 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 the event, the running, David saying he did manage to pull his shorts halfway down. Hmm. So if the book grades it as no, <laughs> could they could they still try to get out of it or, or could this now be arbitrated in the court of law? That's what I'm thinking too, Caleb. I've, I feel like there's no way a book took that action, at least not at that price point, not at 50000 Right, that's what I was saying too, Caleb. I was saying there's no way that, that a book took 50000 on that. You know? Oh, he lied? Who says he lied about it? Shin, some hard hitting analysis going on. Hardly, we're talking about we're talking about a we're talking about a streaker here. Not not that hard hitting. All right, there you go. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the end of our first double header. Guess what? Lucky you guys. We got another two hour double header coming up right after this. But here's a quick glance at some of the cards that we pulled. I think for the next break, we're not going to sleeve and top load as many stuff. It's just it's taking way too much time. That's out of 50, by the way, that red. But obviously, all the rookie cards will ship. These are variations. We'll top load those. And numbered cards. That Gwyn was to 75. So a lot of good stuff. I like these, uh, those relic cards are pretty cool. There's Cabrian Hayes autograph that we were talking about earlier. Casey Mai's autograph was nice too. Then over here, there's Keston Hira autograph. Christian Pache autograph was super strong. Sunny Gray was to 70. William Contreras, Barry Larkin, Dean Kramer. Of course, the big one was this one right here. The Mike Trout MLB Spring Training Patch and Autograph. Four out of five. There you go, everybody. That's it. That was doubleheader number one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.